Hey, what is up, guys? This is Danger Close here, and this is going to be a different video from what I normally post. And this is going to be a theories video. Um, the theory of the Enclave: Are they returning? Are they um gonna come back in the DLC? Or are they going to uh allow you to be in their faction, or or whatever will happen? This video is just gonna be on this, so. We're going to start it right now. So first, we're going to start off with what kind of stuff you can obtain. So the armor, first of all, you can obtain this piece of beautiful armor. So um, it, you can usually find the armor. If you're a high level, though, I don't think it matters what kind of level you are. But usually on military checkpoints, um, I probably will mention this again. Um, there's a piece of armor here. There's a piece of armor here, which we're going to go here later, because this is actually a government base. And there's a piece of armor here. And so that's all that I found so far. Um, so it's pretty dope armor. I think it's better than the every piece of armor. I think it is the best armor, but it, it certainly is the rarest armor that you could find. So... It's pretty dope. It's actually, um, if you are familiar to Enclave, um, I don't know why my legs are twitching out, but, uh, if you're familiar from Enclave, the old Enclave, this is the old Enclave armor, which the newer ones in Fallout 3 were different, obviously, because they're more advanced, but, so this is pretty cool armor, um, you can customize it just like every other piece of armor. It's different. So... So this kind of make, boils the theory up, why would they add this armor in the game if they weren't going to add the Enclave or add something about them? So, For you new guys that are new to Fallout franchise, I will give you the background story of the Enclave. The Enclave is the remnants of the um, U.S. government, and I don't really know about Fallout 1 and 2, but shit, went ha shit happened, and they got wrecked, and... Um, so they re they retreated to uh, DC or the Revenants. So this is where I because I played Fallout Three. Um, in Fallout Three, the uh, player after he is pretty good in the story, um, he comes across a group in Raven Rock, a military base, which the um, Enclave retreated to, and they have tremendous amount of technology. They're more more advanced than the Brotherhood of Steel, and the Brotherhood of Steel is pretty advanced. Actually, I think the Institute pretty comes close to beating them, but I don't know. We, I haven't seen the Enclave in, since Fallout New Vegas, and they were pretty much destroyed, and there was only a couple left. So, so and um, they come across Raven Rock. You destroy the base. And you pretty much destroy them completely, and then they're scattered all around the wasteland, and they're trying to take over the purifier is a Jefferson Memorial to get water to uh, purify the whole wasteland to make a wasteland a better place, obviously. So you pretty much kill them, you grab the Brother of Steel, and you aid them, and you pretty much crush them completely, and then comes the Broken DLC. I'm just going to name the current events by the release dates of the games. So, so after you, you pretty much destroy them, the Broken Steel comes out, which is the DLC. It's, it's, it's the last DLC that comes out, I think it is. So, then the Enclave comes back, okay? Um, you come back alive, because after you destroy the, not destroy the Purifier, you destroy the Enclave at the Purifier, you pretty much die. You sacrifice yourself. So then you come back alive, and then the Enclave's back. So, then they're forming a base. It's an array station. They can call in orbital strikes and stuff. And Liberty Prime. Okay, so the Brothers of Steel go over to the um, array where the Enclave set up. They have a lot of troops there. I think they had a good maybe 30 troops, maybe less than that. Probably 30. That's a lot. So, the Brother of Steel comes there, crushes them, but Liberty Prime gets destroyed. So, that's a big blow to the Brother of Steel. So... If an Enclave can call Orbital Strikes to destroy a huge fucking robot, congrats, they're best, man. So, and then you they, ha they have a huge area craft in Nellis Air Force Base. Huge, I mean like advanced technology. It's probably bigger than the Institute. 
so then you go over there, the Brother of Steel are pretty much outnumbered, and then you go and destroy them, you destroy their ray station, and the Brother of Steel wins, but they took heavy casualties. So pretty much the Enclave is destroyed completely. And then Fallout in Vegas starts two years later, and then pretty much there really isn't any backstory in um, Fallout in Vegas. There's a rem remnants of... The Enclave, they came from Navarro, which is, I think, Illinois, whatever, but they're old, and there's five of them, okay, and then you, there's a quest, so you can collect them and go, just collect them and bring back the Enclave, but, but they're pretty old, and they're close to dying, so they're probably not going to matter anyway, and they it will age you in the Battle of Hoover Dam, which they have a vertebrate and stuff, so, so, yeah, pretty much the Enclave isn't really a huge presence. There's only one, there's only like one quest to do, and that's just to gather them up, and then they'll aid you. So that's pretty much it. That's the last we've heard from the Enclave. So, and plus they weren't even technically Enclave because they're remnants. They, the Enclave got destroyed. They're they're the survivors, and so they're pretty much just retired. But they're still Enclave. Well, they still have the power armor and stuff, which is pretty dope. So, that's the last we've heard from the Enclave. Enough about the backstory. Um, what? I, I'm just going to show you guys what I have um, revealed and my information that I have picked up. Um, there's a couple locations where you can find some pieces of Enclave armor. And in my other video, I showed you where to find a set, which is in here. Which there's another set, I think, right there. And there's another set in the bunker over here, which we're gonna go to next. So here is the uh, secret uh, government base before the war, and here's a scientist that happened to get screwed over. Well, whatever. So there, uh, I went down here. Um, okay, which there are. There's a terminal, and then there's a piece of Enclave armor, which I already grabbed. Okay, so we're here. It's pretty damn big for a fucking basement, you know what I mean? So, yeah, there's a bunch of dead scientists. We are going to assume that they're Enclave. So, here's where the Enclave armor is. See, there's power armor right here, which I took the pieces off. There's not really that much pieces, but it's noticeable. It's enough to come by. So, all the terminals are smashed except for the mainframe terminal, which, once we go here, to the, um, Federal Surveillance Center, which pretty much means government. So, that's for robots, we're not gonna touch that. Um, database, online, deleted, 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 which pretty much everything was deleted off here. For your safety, this database is now the property of the Brotherhood of Steel at Victorium. So that pretty much... They're wiping, you know, pretty much the Enclave from the face of the earth because they don't want, because they're trying to, probably because the terminal had some useful information about Enclave tech, so they wiped it. And I have noticed on um, other military bases, there have been terminals that have been wiped as well. So, which, that pretty much kind of boils up the theory a little bit more. So, so we're going to listen to this holotape um, to make sure that this is government property. Oh, and guys, um, I forgot to mention the holotape. Um, just to make sure that it, it proves that the holotape's here. The holotape is somewhere around this guy. I don't remember. I came here a while ago. Um, I think it's in here or something. Because this is the guy who's speaking, so it's obviously around here, so please don't think that I am lying that that holotape is not from somewhere else. This is government employee number zero one one. Uh, screw this government bullshit. This is Bezensky. So that was pretty much it said the US government. So obviously this is a government base or a government secret op. So pretty much that kind of proves it, really. So 
And that's why the Brother of Steel wiped the database because because they don't want because they probably either one didn't want any civilians to be to acknowledge that there's a uh, military other military force the enclave or they had valuable data that they wanted and that is very useful so that pretty much um i kind of boils the theory up just a little bit more so and uh, i'm gonna show you a uh, picture um about on the loading screen that everyone probably has seen Okay guys, so this is the last part of the video and this is just what we're what I want to see and what maybe that's gonna happen. So there's gonna be a DLC, obviously with the enclave in it, maybe. You know, this is a theory where it's not gonna be proven yet, or if it proves to be wrong, which we, we all in the Fallout community will be depressed if we don't see the Enclave because they're obviously the like menace or the bet the boogeyman's of the, the wasteland so what we want to see is what so we're going to first start off with what we want to see what everyone wants to see and then i want to see my opinion and what maybe is going to happen so what we want to see is obviously them coming back in like bullying the wasteland again and just building awesome stuff and like threatening the brothers of steel and then they have to go all out war again Okay, so that's pretty much like what usually happens when Enclave come. They test subjects, they build outposts, they pretty much threaten the wasteland. They're pretty much douchebags. So what I want to see is um, us to join them as a faction, like to join them, you know, be one of them, like do their dirty work, like access to their technology have a new faction to play around with and you know maybe like it turns out you can actually destroy the Pritalin or something but like this is like after game kind of thing maybe so that would be pretty dope to actually join because so far the only time that we pretty much are, are like the characters allies or like like has friendship with the Enclave was in Fallout New Vegas, but and how he talked to and became allies and bring together the Enclave remnants, which pretty much were only five people. So it it they really weren't Enclave anymore, but they're veterans. So that was the only time. So I'd like to see you know us to join them, you know, defeat the Brother Steel and do other things. That's my opinion. So that would be pretty awesome. So um. If I left anything out or you guys found anything that I haven't covered in this video, please put it in the comments section below. And I, I really want to know. So, hope you guys liked my first theory video. Please don't hold it against me for, you know, not telling enough detail or, like, not having enough information or not explaining it well. So, peace out, guys. Hope you guys like and subscribe. And